top story on ABC News Breakfast, Britain's most senior police officer is the latest victim of the phone hacking scandal. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner Sir Paul Stevenson has resigned just hours after the former News International Chief Rebecca Brooks was arrested over the scandal. She's facing allegations of phone hacking and corruption and was due to front a parliamentary inquiry into the scandal later in the week. Sir Paul says he had no knowledge of the full extent of the phone hacking scandal. I've taken this decision as a consequence of the ongoing speculation and accusations relating to the Met's links with News International at a senior level and in particular in relation to Mr Neil Wallace, who as you know was arrested in connection with Operation Wheating last week. I saw senior figures from News International providing evidence that the misbehaviour was confined to a rogue few and not known about at the top. One can only wonder about the motives of those within the newspaper industry or indeed beyond, who now claim that they did know, but apparently kept quiet. Though mine and the Met's current severe discomfort is a consequence of those few that did speak out, I am grateful to them for doing so. Giving us the opportunity to right the wrong done to victims. And here I think most of those especially vulnerable people who deserved so much better from all of us. I may wish we had done some things differently, but I will not lose any sleep over my personal integrity. That's the outgoing London Police Chief, Sir Paul Stevenson there. For more, we're joined now by our Europe correspondent, Philip Williams in London. Phil, wow, these bombshells just keep on coming. I know. It's, uh, you just have to pinch yourself and say this isn't a dream, this is reality. You could not write a script like this. It would be thrown out as too ridiculous. But almost by the hour we get uh, new revelations. Rebecca Brooks, now the, the Commissioner. And you just have to ask yourself, well, who and what next? And that's the very big question. Are, are, are questions, renewed questions now being asked about whether this scandal will go all the way to the top and possibly claim James Murdoch? Yes, well, uh, his name's often mentioned now, particularly now that, the, in, in a sense, the, the buffer zone of, uh, of Rebecca Brooks has been removed and others. Uh, the only name left on the top of News International now is his. And uh, he's already uh, said he signed uh, documents that he wished he hadn't signed. He wasn't uh, fully... Uh, didn't have all the information he needed when, uh, when he signed those. So there will be some very difficult questions for him when he comes before the committee along with his father and along with Rebecca Brooks. Although we're still not entirely sure whether Rebecca Brooks will turn up to the committee on Tuesday, she'd already warned, even before she was arrested, that she may be constrained in what she could say because of the ongoing police investigations and she didn't want to affect any of those uh, investigations or subsequent court cases. So we're really, uh, we're really waiting to see uh, what happens there. As far as we know, she's still being questioned by police in an unknown location, a police station somewhere in London. No one's really tracked it down where. Uh, but um, that, uh, that happened uh, about uh, five hours ago. She was uh, taken uh, into custody, pre-arranged. Uh, she was asked to turn up to this police station, which she did. So a very, uh, a, a very uh, nice affair in, in that sense, but a very nasty outcome for her as she has fallen from grace, uh, not only no longer as uh, the, the head of uh, News International, but now also arrested, fingerprinted, photographed and presumably bailed to appear uh, perhaps at another hearing. Uh, if, if, if it's the same as all the others, probably sometime in October. And nasty for her and the company because this arrest flies in the face of her insistence and the insistence of the Murdochs that Rebecca Brooks knew nothing of the, the full extent of the phone hacking scandal. Well, that's right, and nobody knew anything. Uh, you just ask uh, uh, Andy Coulson. He knew nothing, apparently. She knew nothing. Uh, and uh, we'll wait, we wait to see uh, what the, the Murdochs may or may not have known. But, yes, uh, and, and, of course, uh, we, we have to... Uh, they, they had the presumption of innocence, and uh, nobody, they haven't been convicted of anything. But the fact they're in this very awkward situation, facing not only possible legal action but also this, uh, a, very, uh, a very probing committee uh, will be uh, of considerable pain for them. Uh, it's already created uh, enormous embarrassment. It's cost them, in a business sense, enormous amounts because they, they had to scuttle a B-Sky B-Bid and they've lost the news of the world. So it's been hugely costly. 
Um, but look, uh, now all eyes are on this uh, committee uh, meeting on Tuesday, and one of the ones, one of the MPs that's been driving this all the time for years and years, and no one's listened to him until now, is Chris Bryant. Here's a little of what he said. The concern is that this is just a little bit convenient and it might mean that it, it, Rebecca Brooks and the Murdochs are able to evade any questioning on Tuesday in committee. I don't think that will wash. I don't think it'll work. Now, uh, Phil, the, the arrests of Rebecca Brooks and the resignation of London's top cop comes at the end of the weekend where it would have been hard to pick up a Murdoch newspaper in London and not see those promised full-page apologies. Yes, here's one. And, uh, oh, upside down. There we go. Putting right what's gone wrong and a list of what they're going to do. Fully cooperate with the police, compensation for those affected and uh, a new integrity uh, set up uh, within the organisation. Uh, this is the second day of apologies, abject apologies, not just in the Murdoch press but in all the other major newspapers as well. So in fact they've had to pay for ads in newspapers that have uh, run uh, very damaging stories against them. That would, that would hurt. Um, but they've taken uh, a new tack, having said uh, for the last uh, 10, 10, 11 days that uh, there was not, no serious problem, uh, that the, the, the way the company had handled it had been right. That's what uh, uh, Rupert Murdoch had said. To this sudden turnaround of mea culpa, we've done terrible things, the company is responsible uh, for putting it right and uh, obviously we'll put our, our money and our uh, resources where our mouth is. So um, very much, a, a very, very big change. What's prompted that, we don't know exactly, but, um, yeah, we, we, we'll just wait, wait with bated breath for this very uh, much-anticipated uh, committee meeting on Tuesday, uh, which, will, um, which will happen uh, at about... start at about 11.30 uh, Australian uh, Eastern Time. And full coverage of that on ABC News 24. Phil Williams in London, thank you very much. Thank you.